light exposure timing. So light, just like food, food is information for the cells of our body, light is as well. So certain types of light we want to avoid at night, certain types of light we want to get during the day. And the way that this works is that early in the day, we want to get a lot of bright light. So going out, watching the sunrise, going out and getting bright light around the middle of the day, that actually helps set our circadian rhythm and it tells our brain, okay, it's daytime right now. Therefore, we wanna make sure we've got uh, different excitatory neurotransmitters, things like dopamine, norepinephrine, cortisol, elevated to some degree. And that actually gives us more energy, more wakefulness. It helps us with fat burning during the day helps us with uh, really just having great energy and mental clarity throughout the day. But then as we get in the evening and we get near sunset, we wanna make sure that we get rid of all of that bright, what we call blue light. Get rid of that. In fact, as we get near sunset, you should dim all the lights, turn off lights or dim lights in your house. The only kind of light that you might wanna have a little bit of would be like an orange uh, type of light, almost mimicking a fire. Our ancestors, if they were exposed to any kind of light in the evening or at night, it was fire. It was sunset, which is more red light, as well as fire. And that has less of a melatonin reducing effect. When we're exposed to bright lights at night, we block our melatonin production. And melatonin is this critical, critical hormone that helps with sleep helps with setting our circadian rhythm. So we get really good deep sleep, deep fat burning sleep at night, but also it actually acts as a really powerful antioxidant that gets into our mitochondria, goes through both membranes of our mitochondria, cleans out oxidative stress. And the healthier our, our mitochondria are, the better we're gonna be at fat burning. So having optimal levels of melatonin at night helps you burn fat all throughout the day as well as at night. So making sure that you're not being exposed to bright lights at night helps you burn fat more effectively. So dim all your lights. You might have a little bit of lighting on in your house. And then you can wear something like this. If you're going to be on electronics, if you're going to be watching TV on your computer, something like that, these are called blue light blocking glasses. So they make everything look orange and that actually blocks out the bright lights. So if you are on your device, which isn't, I don't, I don't recommend that, but you know, all of us do that at some degree in the evenings. Make sure you got those blue light blocking glasses on. That's going to help reduce any sort of melatonin inhibition and set you up for a really good night's sleep. And then in your bedroom, make sure that you've got it as dark as possible. You can wear things like a sleep mask. We'll talk more about that when we get down to here, sleep hygiene, but light exposure timing, key. Bright light during the day, no bright light at night, as darkness, as much darkness as possible. In fact, you know, some researchers say in our society, we have a darkness deficiency. I mean, think about it like a nutrient, like being vitamin D deficient. We know that affects our immune system, that affects our ability to burn fat, it affects our brain function and development. Well, having a deficiency in darkness as well will have a lot of a lot of problems for our body. We'll throw off our circadian rhythm, our ability to burn fat, so our metabolic health, our immune health, our cognitive health. So getting that darkness is critical. Mm -hmm.